What you see behind me aren't real sea creatures. It is Plarn, which is not a real word, but it is now locally recognized as a noun in which yarn is made out of recycled plastic bags. And you'll see plenty of more sculptures like the one behind me on the Minuteman bike path as part of the ACAC's most recent public art project. Plarn Art to Save the Planet is what this exhibition is titled, as it aims to draw public attention to plastic pollution in our oceans. Artist in residence and creative force behind the project, Michelle Luigi, explains. Uh, I started working with plastic debris about 10 years ago when I learned about the plastic waste in the oceans and how it was affecting um, the animal life. And then therefore the fish eat that uh, plastic water and then um, we then eat the fish and so it uh, is a bad cycle. <laughs> Yeah, so at that time I started to make recognizable ocean creatures um, like jellyfish and octopus. And then I started to, um, because the plastic breaks down into smaller and smaller pieces, I began to make um, pieces that were microscopic, based on microscopic ocean creatures. Um, and those creatures, some of that microorganisms are also in the freshwater at Spry Pond. Plarn Art is the first artist-in-residence project for the ACAC. The project was funded by the Massachusetts Cultural Council and the Arlington Cultural Council. Michelle Luigi worked with local community members to contribute to the project by providing planning workshops that were supported by the Friends of the Fox Library, lessons, and other opportunities for residents to get involved. So we started by um, teaching workshops where we taught people, we had people um, donate their plastic bags and then we collected um, the bags and uh, processed them into pl plastic yarn and then the yarn was um, used sent away with people to create these components and then the components were delivered back to me um, and I started to put them together to make the sculptures. I flattened the bags out and then I cut it into um, sections which are loops because the bag I would cut off the handles and the seam and then I cut it to so there are loops and then I loop those loops together and uh, that though once you have that loop together you can crochet with that plastic yarn. Michelle Luigi is a fiber artist, sculptor, and ceramist. Her works of art often convey the message of how consumerism impacts the natural environment. I just would like people to um, recognize that and kind of be more intentional about what they purchase. Um, and, and I understand the difficulty, but I think that we have to kind of work from our end up to say, you know, this is not acceptable. Michelle Luigi's Horn Art can be seen in three areas near Spy Pond between Linwood Street and Swan Place, and is expected to be up for about a year. For ACMI News, I'm Anil Mosmani.